Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie coming through with another video. I don't know what happened to the beginning of this video, but yeah, um, stay tuned as we get right into it. Show you a few of the items that I have tried today. So this is just like a hair and skincare, body care video. So I just got done doing these jumbo knotless braids. I started with, um, so as you all know, if you've been following me on my natural hair journey, I've um, been having trouble using synthetic hair because it gives me that allergic reaction, makes just my scalp itch, eats at my scalp, and it just feels overall just, just dries out your scalp. So I have been really searching for hair that will not aggravate my scalp. I came across the um, Model Model Everclear um, antibacterial-free, anti-itch-free. That hair worked for me. Most hair I can only leave in for about a week or two, but that particular hair I was able to leave in for almost two months, so it was a success with that hair. So um, I was not able to find that hair. Over the past two weeks, I went to multiple stores and was not able to find it. So I came across this um, Alitress braid collection here. It's antibacterial doctor braid. It is the 54 inch. It comes in um, it comes in six bundles. So six bundles comes in this hair. So what I did was I only purchased one. So I was only able to do one side of my hair and um, I ran out of hair. So I went ahead and went back out and I couldn't find that hair. So yes, your girl's ghetto. I went from using one brand of hair um, couldn't find it, so I ended up purchasing this. This is the Kingston um, braid collection, Super Biotex. This only comes in a pack of, I think it only comes with four bundles. So um, this is the, yeah, four bundles. And it's the pre-stretched. And it is the, how many inches is this? I wanna say this was like 63 inches. I think this was 63 inches. So let me just tell y'all. So with the um, Model Model Everclear, that hair lasts me for about a month and a half. So today is I just put these in. And again, I ran out of hair. So I had two different brands. So I had the Alitress braid collection. And then I had this Kingston braid collection. So I will come back and do an update to let y'all know if I have any um, itching or scalp irritation with these two brands. But let me just tell y'all. Personally, I will never purchase, uh, which one was it? This Alitress antibacterial um, hair. After I've made a mistake or when I had to go buy this hair, the Kingston collection, because I ran out of hair when I was doing these braids, this hair is so silky. Like, I wish I could show you what that other hair looked like, but I already used it all. But this hair right here, this is the pre-stretched. It's, it's the only thing about this hair, it tangles. But when I tell you it's so silky and it's so much better than um you can tell the difference these are a little bit bigger on the set i'm going to redo these but so this hair the um ali trust dr bray antibacterial the ones that i told you that was um like a lot thicker and um harder to work with i'm talking about i was cutting cutting my fingers with it you can't really tell the difference but this hair was so much lighter and it's so much easier to work with this hair also tangles though but i would definitely purchase this again this is the kingston um braid collection and i paid i think about ten dollars for this and now i can see why this hair is so much silkier because it costs way more but you get less bundles but it's so worth it besides the the tangling of it is very aggravating but i made it i made it through so I will purchase this again before I purchase the other one. And like I said, I cannot find the Model Model Everclear anywhere. I've even been on Amazon and was not able to find it. But so I did these jumbo knotless braids in my head. I am not a good parter, but it's going to do what it needs to do for the time being. So while I'm here, um, I just wanted to come through to give you um, a few a few pointers or some items that I have been using if you um, are into skincare. And I'm, I like to try a lot of products and I also came across, um, so I'm getting ready to get ready for tonight. And I came across, um, I think her name is McKenna Walker. She's a YouTuber I just started, I subscribed to maybe a day or so ago. And she recommended this Oil of Olay 
rinse off body conditioning. Can you see it? I am all about skincare. So coming across her channel, y'all, if y'all into any type of skincare, she is absolutely amazing. So I'm trusting McKenna Girl. I'm trusting that this is going to be some good stuff. Like it just got to be. It got to be. So I'm getting ready to get in the shower. And y'all, when I come back to do an updated video, I'm going to let y'all know how much, if I like, how I feel about this. But so for my skincare routine, I normally use um, the Honey Pot Feminine Wash. I also use Sweet Cookie Wash, but this one is easier access because Sweet Cookie Wash, you have to order offline and have it shipped. Whereas Honey Pot, you can, I normally get this out of Target. And this is the Honey Pot Feminine Wash. Um, this is um, all plant-based. It's a foaming wash specifically for your vaginal area. And it is um, all natural and pH balanced. And all you do is shake it a few times while you're in the shower. One, two, three pumps, it comes out as a foam. And you just cleanse the vaginal area, I say, for about two to three minutes. And then you rinse, and that's it. And then also, because I'm very sensitive down there, um, I typically don't like to use deodorant sprays but i also use the summer's eve five and one since it's summertime i typically i don't you don't spray this inside the vagina you spray it on the external area it just helps makes keeps me fresh when you know especially in the summertime so i typically spray this um you know after i cleanse my vaginal area and i do like the five and one um feminine spray but they got a they got one with um i think it's um feminine deodorant spray fds at walmart and that stuff they have a coconut one coconut and it smells amazing i love it but i also go in with my um after a shower my multi-use yoni oil if you are not familiar with this oil it is a all natural um product that's used for the external um vaginal area it helps block odor it helps um balance your ph it also helps provide moisture and just gives you an overall good feeling so if you are um into the um external vaginal area um into the yoni steaming the yoni eggs and the yoni i don't use all that stuff but this particular product it will help um with any irritation that you might have from um Bacterial vaginosis, yeast, it blocks odor, like I said, and you literally just use a drop or two and it comes in peach, mango, vanilla, orange cream, and um, did I say peach, mango, vanilla, and orange cream? I, I feel like I'm missing one. So if you'd like to purchase this, this is a bottle that lasts two to three months. Excuse me, it will not throw off your pH. It will not cause you any irritation. It helps prevent irritation and it helps balance your pH. Like I said, it's all natural, and the scents that they come in, they are um, come naturally from the plants and the nuts and the things that it, it's made of. Like it does not, it's not scented. It's a natural fragrance that comes from plants and nuts only. So if you'd like to try this, visit my uh, website, realbluecosmetics.com. And if you purchase the orange one or the orange cream, do not forget this is on there with a combo for I think like twenty four ninety eight. You can get one of these and then one of my body butters to match it if you like the smell of like orange, orange, vanilla, orange cream, um, orange cream sickle. It gives you kind of like a summertime vibe. Those are available on the website. So again, that's realbluecosmetics.com. I will put that down in the description box below. And um, also another thing that I use, this Dove body cream or it's body care beauty cream. I love this stuff, love, love, love it. So it only comes in this small thing. I'm gonna Google it and see if I can find this in a bigger, uh, oh God, y'all, this smells so fresh. It's so amazing. Like it's a, it's a cream and it comes out and it smells so good. It smells so like a baby. And when I take a shower, I love to use this Dove Renewing Peony and Rose Oil. This is kind of what that beauty cream reminds me of. But y'all, this stuff is amazing. It moisturizes your skin and just gives you an overall um, natural, clean, clean smell. I love this stuff. I love all of the products, but I really love this body wash. Like, this body wash is everything. So I use this body wash. I rinse. But like I said, so y'all, when I go in here and use this body wash, thank you, McKenna Girl, because I'm about to get in here and lather myself up, share. 
and I can't wait to use this. Like I'm not too fond of oil of Olay body wash stuff because it dry my skin out, but I'm gonna try this um, body conditioner, a body conditioner. Like I'm gonna try this. I can't wait to try this. Like I'm about to get in this shower so quick, fast, and in a hurry. I have no idea. But yeah, so I use that. And then also, as far as my face, I use this. Um, it's a this is a. A Walmart brand of the CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe. I use this is the moisturizer. What I'm trying to say, I don't even know how to pronounce this CeraVe, CeraVe. This is the moisturizer that I use. I don't too much care for, but I bought a bigger size because I had purchased the small size. Um, I was trying to compare the difference between Cetaphil and CeraVe or CeraVe. So this is the generic version, which is a lot cheaper, but it does the same thing as a CeraVe. And this is the Cetaphil. If I had to choose, I think I prefer the um generic CeraVe by um walmart because it seems to be um it rinses a lot cleaner to me and this one seems like it leaves like, leaves like a um the set of feels seems like it leaves a, a, a small sheet of film over your skin after you use it so after i um cleanse with this um i go in and um oh i forgot to tell y'all my facial cleansing brush give me one second i'll be right back But so, this CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, this is the Foaming Cleanser. I actually bought this because, it, I don't know, I just wanted to try it. But I use this spin brush, y'all. It's a detachable spin brush. It has the cleanser on the end, and it's three speeds. So there's three speeds on this. I love this thing. I got this from, um, oh, here we go. My phone about to die again. But I got this from uh, Walgreens on sale for like maybe 10 or $15. But I don't had it for about a year or two, but I love this thing. So if you um, like to cleanse your hand, face without, just not just using your hands, you wanna get one of these brushes. Wet your face, apply a few pumps of the cleanser and just, it rotates and it exfoliates. So gently exfoliate. And then you get out Pedra, use a, a nice little toner, apply your, um, moisturizer and you're good for the night so back to this hair last thing i'm going to talk about is these um ooh, is these uh well this is one one thing before the last i'm going to talk about the shining gem so i use the shining gem to lay my hair y'all and i am natural so my edges um typically curl up and all these products, the only thing is they all, the first, very first ingredient is water. And you know, if you naturally use anything that um, has water as the first ingredient, it's just going to curl your head up. This ain't about to last too long, but if I had to choose, like this is the Shannon Gem Silk Edges. And then I also have the um, Shannon Gem Conditioning Gel. This is the Extra Hole. I really, really, really like this one. I swear about this one. And this is the Shannon Gem Magic Fingers Edge Magic. This one, I would say, if you are doing like box braids, this one lays your hair better than all of them. I prefer this one, um, these two, over any of them. I use both of these, but when I go to lay my edges, I prefer to, I will say that for most, you should use this to like lay your squares to make them, to give you neat parts. That's what this one feels like it's better for. This red one feels like it's better for giving you um, really, really clean parts. And then the shining gem for me, it just more, it conditions and softens your hair and it lays your edges. I like this one too, but again, it does not um, harden your hair or anything like that. It is not an all day holder. So your edges, you're going to feel greasy when you go outside. And all I'm going to say is your edges just might curl up. I don't know. Mine's will. They look cute now, but they ain't going to be like this in about the next era. Or so this shining gem silk edges here. I don't too much care for this one um it but it does come with um olive oil so that's why i used it the last time i did my knotless braids it's okay but i don't think i'll be buying this one again i think i'll stick to these two i love the magic fingers i use this one like 90 percent of the time like i really 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 love this one so that's it for that and what else did i need to tell you all before i go um one last thing so I went and got my nails done for my birthday. 
and I'm not I don't normally just get a pe uh, manicure I don't normally get my nails done um, because I ended up having to get my um, to get them I don't get my nails done, so I didn't know how to sit there and get my nails soaked off so I'm going to get my nails soaked off and I don't know if y'all can tell you really can't tell but girl y'all got all kind of bumps and ridges and recklessness going on on these nails like it's just ridiculous so like I said I did that for my birthday um, June last year last year last month got my nails done they was the bomb.com and I was just loving every bit of them but they you know I can't take that drill they had me soak my nails for over an hour the nails still were not completely out then they took the drill the drill is what made all these bumps and ridges and stuff on my nails and I just don't like that so somebody told me about press-ons you know and I thought press-ons was just like back in the day when you was a kid and you used to put them little stickers um the little sticky tab whatever on the back of the nail and press on your nails I thought that's what that was about but I seen somebody with some press on nails I'm like girl they look like a whole dang on manicure so I had to go get me some so I stopped at the hair store y'all and got these gel fantasy nails can you see them because I'm all into like the bling bling stuff so these look like they're gonna be too cute so I'm gonna come back and give y'all an update after I try these but I don't know how to get these open so these are the kiss jelly fantasy translucent nails and these are new y'all i couldn't get this open and i paid ten dollars for these and normally when i when i went to get my nails done for my birthday i paid 70 did i pay 70 dollars i don't know i don't remember how much i paid because i got my feet done too so it looks like this come with a little glue the little glue stick I'm going to try to see if I can let y'all see these nails without making a mess. Okay, so here are what the nails look like, y'all. These are going to be so cute. I can't wait to put these on. I hope they stay on and that they last. But anyway, so these are the nails. And I can't wait to show y'all how they look when I put them on. So I just wanted to come through y'all, give y'all a little quick, quick, quick video before I get my day, my night started. And yeah, so if you are not already a subscriber for math, of Maths and you've made it this far, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification down below so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. So like I said, I'm gonna come back with an update to let y'all know if this hair irritates my scalp or not. Like I said, I have a different brand of hair over here versus the other side, but it's gonna be okay. It's, I'm just trying to protect my hair for now, so it's gonna be okay. And um. I'm gonna come back and give y'all an update on these nails, this hair, and then also, again, this Olay conditioning or body conditioner. I can't wait to try it. So, again, thank you for coming through my channel. Visit my site, realbluecosmetics.com. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. I am on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, um, realbluecosmetics.com. Feel free to look around. If you have any questions, you can DM me. And um, yeah, tomorrow I'll be shipping out orders. So if you are interested, I do do next day shipping on most orders. My um, Most of my shipping dates are on now Monday and Wednesday at the latest because of the body butters. I don't want them um, sitting in the post office over the weekend so i've decided to change my shipping dates to monday and wednesday so if you place your orders this weekend you will get your order shipped out on monday if you place them after monday it'll get shipped out on wednesday so thank you for watching and until next time bye youtube